Are you ready to ride the most crazy road we've ever seen? Yes, I well, am ready. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 53 on our around the world trip. <laughs> we are here in the mountain village of Misamir. Uh, it's about 2000 meters above sea level, which is nice because it's quite cool. And we pitched our tent just up there on the terrace of this beautiful place, Le Maison d'Hôtes, Le Vallée des Nomades, which I think is the, uh, <laughs> <Very good. laughs> the name of the place. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hamid, our host, was really, really good to us, especially after this crazy day yesterday. He made us some tea and he was just so nice to talk to and gave us a lot of good energy for the next leg. So thanks for that. If you're around this area here, you should definitely check out his place. It's just the best place. Yeah, and look, I love at, the, it. look at this beautiful terrace. It's amazing. Yes. Yes, it's Amazing. Su super nice, super nice. So let me show you guys where we're going to be heading today. Okay, so we are just here and we are aiming to head today further following the river Dardes into the Dardes Gorge, which is around here, before joining up with the N10 to head towards Ozazat, where we're aiming to camp on this reservoir. So we were actually supposed to be uh, riding this gorge yesterday, but of course we had to deal with this massive amount of dirt roads. So we're going to be doing it today. And we found this reservoir on iOverlander. So hopefully while camping there, it's going to be really cool because there's lots of reviews and it seems like a really nice place. So it's already 9.15 and we have about 97 miles to go or for the rest of the world, 156 kilometers. So better hit the road. Let's go. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Okay. Thank you so much. See ya. All right. All righty. Back on the road. But it's a proper road today. An actual tarmac road. <laughs> Thanks God for that, hey? With a line in the middle. It's, uh, it's a miracle. Should be a beautiful drive this morning. Oh, sorry, a beautiful ride this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our bodies are still a little bit aching from yesterday. Yeah, we, we really uh, pushed ourselves to the limits yesterday. And yes. today I feel a little bit under the weather. Yes. A little bit sick. But uh, we don't have a huge drive today and there's nothing crazy going on. Yeah. Uh, no dirt roads or anything like that. So, so we're just going to hopefully get to this uh, reservoir uh, relatively early. Yes. And then we can have a good rest because uh, I was not ready to wake up this morning, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but we were riding through the most famous gorge today here in Morocco. Yeah, it's the gorge that you see on all the pictures with the crazy switchbacks going all the way down. And we're yes. coming in from the top and going down. Yeah. So uh, I can see on the map already a huge amount of switchbacks coming up. Yes. It's insane. Yeah, it will be really, really cool. Luckily this road is paved. There's probably so many rocks falling on the road as well. Wow, yeah, I mean, look at that here. This one is definitely yeah. new. Are 
look, the original road, uh -huh. look, went around there. That's what it would have looked like. But then they've cut the cliff for the new road. You wow. See? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that, even that's scary for me now. This, <laughs> if this was a dirt road, yeah. that drop is too no much way. for me. No way. Even I wouldn't do it. Guess what? We just hit 4,000 miles on our trip. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Looks like we're coming down, down and into the gorge. Oh, and look, there's a camel. Oh, wow. Good That's morning, good. camel. Oh yeah, look at this. This is a tight squeeze. Wow. Wow. Here we go. Epic. Wow, look at that. Yeah, look, we're just right in between the cliffs. <gasps> oh my god. There's just enough space for the road, barely even. Yes. Whoa. Look at this wildflowers here on the side. Wow, and the goats. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> A lot of nice pink flowers. Wow, that's pretty. Yeah, yesterday we asked um, Hamid if uh, wild camping is allowed here in um, in Morocco, and he said. Yeah, no worries, you can wild camp because this is anyway in their culture. So yesterday when we drove um, through the gorge, we could see a lot of nomads actually uh, living in the mountains with their sheep or with their donkeys uh, walking through the mountains or on their horses. So it was really, really special to see that. But yeah, so because we know now that uh, wild camping is actually allowed here in Morocco and as long as you're not wild camp in the city, or close to um, an Airbnb or close to a hotel then it's it's fine to pitch up your tent it's fine uh, to camp so that's gonna what we're gonna try tonight for the first time here in Morocco just a complete wild camp area around this reservoir and um, see how it goes yeah yeah Are you ready to ride the most crazy road we've ever seen? Yes, I well, am ready. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, got a few hairpins now. A few so hairpins. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Yes. 
some other tourists up there at the top <laughs> from France. <laughs> 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 I think this is the best road we have ever taken so far. <laughs> okay, another hairpin. Oh, oh. Okay, it's okay. It's okay? Yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Just about. Oh my god, just oh. about, hey? And there's <gasps> trucks coming up here as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, these outside bends are absolutely fine. It's just the inside bends that are tough. It's okay. Whoa, what a road! <laughs> Whoa! Ooh Opa. Okay. It's okay. Okay, yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, we just hit like a traffic jam on the gorge. <sighs> Crazy. Crazy. I think that we're home safe now. I think we're all good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow, look at this place. Wow. It's like in the cliff. In the cliff, wow. I think that they actually have a house in the cliff. That's absolutely stunning. Amazing. What a beautiful place here. Look at this. There's some crazy rock formations. Wow. Wow, look at this rock formation just ahead. That looks unbelievable. Well, that is kind of crazy, no? Look at that. Yes, it is crazy. What's going on? Crazy little mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> So it looks like we've reached the end of the Dardes Gorge and uh, the landscape has started to open up a lot more and it's getting busier and busier. Yeah, it feels like that we, that we have left the dreamland Yeah. and we're reaching now again the normal world. Goodbye beautiful gorge. <laughs> Goodbye Dardes. Goodbye Dardes. Goodbye dangerous. I thought I will die gorge. <laughs> 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 the one day adventure that turned into a two day adventure. Yes. I'm so glad to see the petrol station. <laughs> oh wow. In the end we had 28 miles left in the tank out of like a 300 mile range. That's pretty close. Uh, salam. <laughs> salam. Sava. Sol. Yes. Sol, thank, thank you. you. Uh, uh, no. Oh, no, no. no. Oh. <laughs> These are wow, look at that. Yeah, and you can just about see snowy mountains up at the very, very back. Over there. That's the high Atlas Mountains up ahead. And uh, we are going to be crossing the high Atlas Mountains tomorrow on our way to Marrakesh.
oasis valley wow then you're uh, left with just a few little shrubs and mostly just rocks that's insane what a difference hey yeah Just stopped here on the way to buy some groceries, got some stuff for dinner. But right now we're a little bit hungry, so we're gonna look and see if there's a local restaurant where we can get ourselves another tagine or something vegetarian. <laughs> so in this place here, they do a tagine for 40 dirham. It's like four euro here. And we just had a goat's cheese omelette as well, which was like three euro. Mm, look at the sizzling vegetables. Yum. Look, mommy and papi, Ollie's eating his vegetables. <laughs> 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 okay, so this is our turn off down to the reservoir. And then it says it's 1.4 miles down this road. So let's check it out. Wow. It's a little bit gravelly though. Oh, it's a little bit too gravelly, you think? No, no. Okay. Now some parts are gravelier than others. Okay. It looks like it was once a tarmac road, but it's sort of deteriorated. Yeah, you're right, it does. Oh, I can see a little bit of water. Wow. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so this place we found on iOverlander and people camped here before with no issues at all. So yeah. I guess that should be absolutely fine. Yeah, quite promising. As long as we can make it. <laughs> oh, hold on. Here's a road. Should we try that? Yeah. Oh, it looks quite gravelly. Just going to take it slow and see how it looks. Okay, no, wait, wait, that wait, wait, wait. Okay, but this looks pretty good. I can get that. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I'm just going to get down to the bottom just to make sure that it's safe. Yeah, no, that was fine. Honestly, this is like when there's no steep cliffs, this like rocky stuff is not too bad. But it looks like such a cool spot to camp now. Yeah, amazing. Okay, we've decided we're going to ride the bike down to the reservoir, chill out by the reservoir for a bit, see how windy it is and then if we need to we can camp just behind the hills just next to the reservoir where it's a bit more sheltered but this is a nice spot cool look at that hey that's really cool here look at the mountains behind Good afternoon guys. <laughs> We've set up a nice little parasol behind a little tree to get ourselves out of the sun and we've decided to set up camp just down there next to Bumblebee on the flat area down there which I think at some times of the year does have water in because it looks like the bed of a, of a lake but at the moment because it's the summer, I think the water's receded all the way back. So it's left a nice, flat, beautiful spot for us to pitch our tent tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Hopefully not too windy. We will tell you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end, we did 97 miles and in kilometers, 153 kilometers. Um, it was a beautiful ride. It was stunning today. Everything on tarmac, yeah, which was, that was nice as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nothing to worry about. Just the beautiful winding road of the yes. Dardes Gorge. Um, yeah, it was epic. Really, was, really cool. Yeah. yeah, so we're going to try our wild camp for the first time in Morocco tonight. Um, and it looks pretty remote. We can't really see anyone or anything around us. So, you know, fingers crossed, this is going to be just a nice, peaceful night out here. 
by the reservoir. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, please share the video with your friends and family. Comment below. We will see you next time. Just set up our tent here. Oh yes. <laughs> Yeah. Look at this for a camping spot. Woohoo!